What's up guys and welcome to tonight's random horror game. This is called Salvation Project and from what I've heard, it apparently features Kermit and he's being controlled by a devil of some kind. It's Kermit the Frog. I mean, I don't know how scary this could be, but I've heard some good things about it. So it just came out about a week ago. So I figured let's do a video on it. Let's check it out and see what it has in store for us. But of course, if you guys have been enjoying these random horror games, you know what to do. Smash like on the video down below. If we get a ton of likes on this video, I will continue the random horror games. And in the comment section down below, what random horror game do you guys want to see me play next? Whether, whether it's old, new, you know, 10 years old, or it just came out yesterday, comment it down below and I might check it out in another video. And while you're down there, drop some uh, frog emojis in the comment section down below. Let's see how many frog emojis we can get if you're excited. Anyways, let's go ahead and start up the game and begin. All right, here we go. By the way, guys, be sure to check out yesterday's random horror game video. It was terrifying and a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I think you guys will definitely enjoy it. All right, here we go. I don't exactly know what to expect here. I just know it's Kermit the Frog, a devil of some kind, and some kind of ritual, which I don't know how that, I, this is the weirdest combination I've ever heard of, but <laughs> let's see what happens. Is the game stuck? Hello? Ah, there we go. I had to restart the game. That was weird. I think he's already like messing with my game, Ladies dude, Kermit. Ladies and oh. gentlemen. Welcome. My name is Seth, and today's public service announcement is dedicated to your fears. Oh no. This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. And what fear are we going to be discussing today? Please don't talk about frogs. It's my biggest fear. Not frogs. Spiders? Oh, thank goodness. Spiders, the nuclear war, or Satanism. Um, guys, which one of these is the, is the most scary to you? Comment it down below. Let's see what, I want to see what you, most of you guys choose. I have a feeling which one it's going to be, but I, I just want to see. All right, I'm going to go with uh, this one, because I think this game is related to that. That's right. Oh my god, I was actually right. Okay. Satanism. Oh, goodness. Satanism is a great danger to our citizens, and we all should be on our toes. It's a danger to our souls, to our world, and our way of living. And this danger strikes where it hurts most, our children. Oh, not the children. To make sure your kids are safe, you should locate the satanic objects in your household before it's too late. The typical satanic object includes satanic audio tapes, satanic posters, or satanic books. Okay. Beware, these can be hidden in plain sight. And on that, we wish your family luck in searching and destroying the threats inside your home. Be careful, because if you don't care, they will. This has been a broadcast from The Salvation Project. Until next time, Seth out. Bye, Seth. I'll, I'll go look around my house for these objects that you're talking about. <laughs> Whatever that means. How the heck do you know? All right, all right, let's just see. So that was The Salvation Project run by our boy, Seth. Karen. This does raise a concern. I think I saw something that could be satanic in my son's room upstairs. Oh no, it's a Karen. I have to investigate immediately. Oh, what the heck? Okay, oh, you can use a controller on this? Dude, I have a controller right here. Literally, what are the chances? Well, I was playing Deathloop with it. You know, the game just came out today. Oh my, yeah, it works. All right, well dude, let's play with, with a controller. I'm so used to playing with the keyboard and mouse. This should be fun. Why do I reach my hand out at this TV like that? Okay, dude, lady, put your hand down. Why are you doing that? All right, how do I get in here? Oh, dude, I only learned the controls on keyboard and mouse, though, so I don't know. How do I interact? Oh, it's A. Okay, got it. Oh, well, this is a totally normal house. Yeah, it looks about average. Look at that. You got a little cross on the thing, a little lighter. What's that for? Or what are we going to be burning with that? I'm a little concerned. All right, let's go to my son's room, then. I'm guessing this is his room. I did, uh, oh, wow. Dude, this place is huge. What the? Wait, is this her house? Or is this, like, an apartment complex? I'm afraid to go outside. What if there are demons there? Okay, Karen. Okay. Your house is literally a mansion, so I don't think you gotta go outside. What the heck is... What is that? Oh, it's a car under there. Okay. I thought that was something completely, like, different. I thought that was a demon. Oh my goodness, he's got a big furnace. I should go look for these demonic items in my son's bedroom. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to just explore. I like exploring, but fine. Let's just go to my son's bedroom. We'll be back, I'm sure, in here later on. But dude, this house, if you got a house this big, you are living a life of luxury. Like regardless of what's inside of it. I don't really need to go to the bathroom. All right, fine. I don't know where the son's bedroom is. So I'm just trying every door, lady. I don't need to go there right now. Okay, fine, Karen, fine. I didn't know what that was. I don't know where the son's bedroom is. You don't gotta be so mean. All right, upstairs we go. She's being mean to herself, dude. All right, this must be the bedroom. Oh boy, is this the bedroom? It looks like I'm at like a skating rink. Okay, what, what is this? This is a rule book for a board game. Dungeons and Demons. Oh, no! If this isn't an introduction book, I don't know what is. Now, there's two more satanic objects to find. 
Oh, this reminds me of like 1990s and like 1980s when all this stuff was just coming out and everyone used to think that everything was related to the devil. And yeah, this is, oh man, this must take place back then because nowadays everyone's like, oh, dungeons and, and you know, Satan spawn. Yeah, that's totally normal. This is a metallic uh, audio tape. Sure does look satanic. It definitely, it's definitely dangerous. Now there's one more satanic object to find. Yeah, this is definitely around that time. Oh man, yeah, take this down. Look at that poster, dude, Metallica. This is a Metallica poster. What a terrifying poster. I better take it down. I think that's all of them. I should be, I should just burn it in the furnace, in the garage. Oh, I knew he'd be back down there. What about on his computer, huh? What's he got on there? Probably some creepy satanic stuff like Pokemon. All right, outside we go. We gotta go downstairs, but I, I wanna explore a little bit upstairs first. This house is massive. I don't need to go there right now. Okay, I just wanna know what's in there. This is like all bedrooms? Okay, you know, fine, we won't go in there. Can I interact with the grandfather clock? No. Like, how many children does she have? Let me turn on this light. Like, this lady must have like five children and a really well-paying job. All right, let's go ahead and go over here. Every time we play one of these games, I always get too distracted by the house. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's outside. I forgot. Okay, I was like, that door just stands out. All right, and here we go. All right, so the furnace was right over here. Let's go ahead and drop it off in there, all these satanic objects. And there you go, Metallica, whoever you are. <laughs> that's a joke, by the way. I know people are going to take that serious. Burn, burn, burn! There's no place for Satan in my home. Now that the job is done, I can finally rest near the TV again. Another day done right. Dang, dude, this is all she does? She just wakes up, watches that Salvation Project, and immediately just burns stuff and is like, all right, job well done. <laughs> I've done enough to be able to afford this house, that's for sure, for today. All right, back to the TV. I think it was in here, right? Let's take a look. All right, yeah, here's the TV. So do I just got to go? Oh, yeah, I got to go stare right at the screen, huh? No, I think I have to sit down. In today's news, there was an event of greatest importance today. Jonathan Wozus gave us his inaugural speech in which he... Oh, so she's just going to take a nap now. That is a weird life to just wake up and stare at a TV and watch it all day and then just go to sleep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Oh, My name is Seth, that. and today's public service announcement is dedicated to energy consumption. This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. So, as we previously stated, energy consumption is an extremely important issue. However, sometimes we have to ignore it to protect ourselves from the evils of the world. As you all know, Satanism has started to rapidly grow in our communities. Since our last program, many of our viewers relate to us their successes of protecting their house from the devil's propaganda. But that is not enough. As Jeremiah 29.11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. The devil comes at the devil's hour, but using science, our specialists discovered that the correct time of the devil's hour is 8 p.m. The devil fears the light. Even the smallest darkness can bring the devil, so we shall shine the light on it and bring safety to our homes. We implore you, turn on every light in your home until 8 p.m. <laughs> and make your house safer. Oh the devil God. shall not pass. Her energy bill is going to be, be humongous. Careful, because if you don't care, they will. Sir, yes, sir. This Kermit. was a Salvation Project oh. program. Until the next time, Seth out. Hi, Kermit. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. I like the new show. You got a lot going on now, I see. So I've got to go turn on every light in my house. Okay, that's... I'm sure this will go well. <laughs> Let's go turn on. I was already doing that anyways, though. Oh, oh no. It's almost 8 p.m. I should do something before it's too late. I have to turn on the lights in the places where we sleep so the devil does not invade us when we are not awake. But the corridors are equally important, so I should probably light them too. Don't you think you would have seen it by now? Like, you've been, been alive for how many years and you've never once seen it, so... Like, what makes now 8 o'clock? Something's gonna happen. I thought that the devil hour or whatever that they call in, like, the conjuring movie and stuff like that. I thought it was, like, 3 a.m. or something like that. If you guys know, comment it down below. But I thought it was, like, 2 or 3 a.m. Some random time. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the light. Got it. So we gotta go into the bedrooms, but can I go into my bedroom yet? Okay, no. I just wanna know, because she said in her bedroom. Okay, so that's the bathroom. I mean, you would think she would turn on the lights in, like, the bathroom, the closet, everywhere. But guess not. All right, so let's turn on this light just to be on the safe side. Okay, I guess not. What's wrong with this light? You don't want to turn it on, lady? Fine. <laughs> I guess you don't want to keep the devil out. If you're not going to turn on that light, fine. 
I gotta go upstairs, though. I know there's a light there, and then there's probably a light in my son's bedroom, wherever he is. Where is the son, by the way? She doesn't really mention him. She sleeps... Oh, my God, I thought that was a person. She sleeps on her couch and uh, wakes up, doesn't feed anyone, doesn't even feed herself, and just does her thing. All right, into the son's bedroom. Okay, so where's... Okay, got it. No? You don't want to turn that on, lady? There you go. All right, this looks a lot less creepy now. Wait, is this my bedroom? Oh, yeah, this is my bedroom. Oh, there we go. I finally found it. Got a little picture of my family, I'm assuming. We found another one of those in the in the kid's bedroom, didn't we? I think so. All right, so where is... We got to go... Let's. I think that's the son's bedroom, but let's try this door. Okay, fine. You don't need to go there. All right, I think it's this door, right? If I remember correctly. Let's. Yep, here it is. This kid's bedroom is humongous, dude. I'm so caught up on the house, I know. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. I think the power went out because of the overload. I should go down to the garage and restart the power. Isn't it gonna be. It's gonna be 8 p.m. soon, dude. Where's a clock? Where's a clock at, dude? Oh my god, it's gotta be close to 8 p.m. I don't know if things are actually gonna start appearing here, but for Karen's sake, we gotta get down to the garage. Guys, can I get some Karen. Uh, Karen spam in the. Oh no. Karen. Karen, get out of here, Karen. Karen, get out of here. He's at the front door. Oh my god, guys, can I get a Karen in the comment section down below? Because I don't think she's going to last much longer. Where'd it go? Oh my god. It's gone. Oh no. It's real. It's real, dude. It's real. Okay, here's the switch. Quick. Is that not this? Yes. I think I almost died. It was so dark. And something definitely was in here. Good thing I managed to bring the light back to, the, to my house. I should go and rest. Are you sure about that, Karen? Are you sure about that? You want to go rest after just seeing a demon the size of, like, the... the It went up to the ceiling. Like, that thing was huge. I, I, I Look, lady, I wouldn't rest right now. I would probably leave the house. I mean, that seems to be the smart thing to do that no one ever does, but fine. We'll go rest. All right, I think my bedroom was down here, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and go in here and take a quick little nap and pretend like we didn't just see the devil. All right, right here. Hopefully he doesn't, like, crawl out from under my bed or something. Hey, how come I can't? Oh, does she want to sleep in front of the TV? Lady, you have a full bed right here. You don't want to sleep in this? Really? You want to go to the couch? Okay, this lady's just like me. <laughs> I sleep in the couch in my office most of the time. I, I have like a full bed and everything and I've got like, I could sleep there, but I just, the couch in your office is just so comfortable. I don't know why. I mean, at least for me it is. It's like, it's like, uh, you know, you're going back to your resting place. Your main, oh, I got to go behind me. It's like, this is the place to be. You know, you got the TV in here. You got everything. Well, I have a TV in my other room too, but anyways, off topic. Well, hello there, missus. I believe you found yourself in a bit of a situation. Uh, what? What? Why are you here? How did you get inside? Why? Missus, this is an emergency. And a big one, I might say. Oh my god, he left the TV. That's creepy. I came here to help you get rid of the demons in your home. I see you've been watching my programs and following them. And you have correctly identified that Satan is the root of all problems. Uh, that, that, that you, you might be the root of all pro- you might be Satan. Satan is very much real, and is nearing your home. Okay. Perhaps you noticed the signs already. Y yeah there's a, a Kermit sitting on my table right now. The lights, your son's behavior, and however more that you don't notice. And I am here to help you with the protection of your home. Okay. But why me? Isn't everyone in danger? Why help me in particular? Silly, I am helping everyone. I've already helped countless people, and you are just another lucky child of God who gets the special treatment. Okay. But hush now. It was hard for your nerves today already. Go to sleep now. Uh, I will guard it with my life. After you wake up, there is much to be done. Uh, why can't we just do that now? Why do I have to sleep in front of you with you staring at me? I don't know if that's the right... Okay, we're just going to go to sleep with this guy just staring at me. How terrifying that'd be? That's scarier than any demon. Oh, he's, he's back in the TV. I had to get back in the TV. Welcome, everyone. My name is Seth, and today's public service announcement is dedicated to the signs of Satan in your house. Oh, goodness. This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. As you should know, the devil is coming! And we should all be protecting ourselves and our loved ones from the devil. Uh, hello, I'm pressing A. It's not doing... Uh-oh. Check your oh, windows! Check your windows! Board them up! Board oh my them god. Up! He's screaming now. Satan shall not die! <laughs> oh my god. Check your crosses. Make sure they are not inverted. Check your mirrors. Cover them up. 
Satan shall not pass. Satan shall not pass. Oh my God. Be careful, because if you don't care, they okay. will. Okay. This was a Salvation Project program. Until next time, set out. So is he going to be back in my house now? Because we got to check the mirrors. We got to check the, the, the crosses. We got to close the windows, seal them up. We got to do everything. Oh, he's back. Yep. Of course, he's back. What do you want from me, you creepy what thing? What a charmer, huh? Sure is an energetic fella. But he is right. You should get on your feet and start covering them windows. Sir, yes, Maybe sir. Maybe check your garage for instruments and materials. You're bound to have something. I also remember you having a cross in here nearby, as well as a mirror in your room. So what are you waiting for? Go, go, go! Okay, I, uh, now working for Kermit the Frog. That is an interesting twist. Okay, so there's a cross here. Oh my god, it was turned just like he said. I should fix it immediately. I think he's the one that did it, lady. That's better. I need to find one more rotated cross. Yeah, but lady, it, it, this didn't start happening until he showed up. I have, to get, I have to get the instruments and materials from the garage. Okay, let's go to the garage and start boarding up these windows. He's just gonna sit there. Oh my, he literally, he faces you and just like, look at him, look at him. He just like stares at you and follows you around. Why does he let me reach out? Can I talk to your him? garage for instruments and materials. You're bound to have something. I also remember you having a cross in here nearby, as well as a mirror in your room. Okay. So what are you waiting let's... for? Go, go! Okay, 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 okay. Let's go to... Can I turn this on? Okay, I guess not. Let's go to the bedroom first. Let's do the mirror in there. Wait. The music stopped. Oh my god, I don't know if that thing is out here or not. It can't be past 8 p.m., right? I just woke up. It's gotta be like in the morning at some, some point. Alright, let's go into the bedroom first. Flip the mirror around. Go into the basement after. Or into the garage and do that. Okay, right here, right here, right here. I need to cover this. Yes, cover it, cover it. Got it. All right, let's get out of here quickly. Let's go into the basement, grab the instruments, which what do they mean by that? In, like instruments as in like literal instruments? Am I about to grab a French horn and cover my window with it? Because I didn't know that was a thing, but I guess we're about to find out. Come on, turn this on. Oh, there we go. Got it. All right. Now that we know the lights are on, that thing can't be in here. Let's go in here, grab the instruments, grab the boards. Oh, this place is creepy though. I hate going in here. All right. Where could they? Oh, there they go. The boards. Give me them. These planks should be enough to cover all the windows in the house. Now I need to find a hammer and some nails. They must be around somewhere. All right, hammer, nails. Oh, there we go. Hammer. Hammer should do just fine. The nails are just the size I need, too. These are all the materials I'll need. I have to find all the windows. Got it. Okay, is there a window in the garage? Oh, these are all windows. Dude, there's a million windows on the garage door. Okay, I guess we can't cover those, though. Fine. I mean, you would think he said all windows. That's a window, all right? That is literally a window. All right, out we go. She's got a fancy garage door, too, with all those windows. That must have been expensive. I'm telling you, this lady is extremely rich. I'm afraid to go outside. What if there are demons there? Okay. Let's go ahead and start finding... Holy moly, that scared me. Oh, boy. Dude, I guarantee that's Kermit the Frog. That's his full form. If we go in here and he's gone, we know he's evil. We know he is. He he's got to be the one controlling... Oh, no, he's here. It's probably one of his puppets or something, dude. I know it. All right. One more window down. Six more to go. Okay. We got... Four in here? No, three in here. One more window down. Five more to go. Okay, got this one. Yep, four more to go. Okay, yeah, got it. All right, let's quickly get out of here. I think we have to go into that room where that thing just went, though, which is not going to be fun. All right, in here we go. I don't need to go there right now. Okay, fine. Fine, lady, fine. All right, so that's the bathroom. There's usually a window in the bathroom, but I guess not in her house. All right, upstairs. So we know my son's bedroom probably has a window. My bedroom probably has a window. Start by going into his. Probably has, like, two windows in here. I think I have, like, five more or four more to go. Yeah, here's one. I right, cover this. One more window down. Three more to go. Thought I heard something. Oh no. Okay, now we're good. Dude, this I can't. I can't. Like this building, it's it's huge. Like I can't get over that. How big this? Like look at her son's bedroom. It's huge. <laughs> like what the heck? I can't get over how massive this bedroom is. It's just the whole house. Okay, in here. Come on, go 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 go. I gotta get into my bedroom now. All right. Where are the? Okay, we got one. One more to go. Oh, do I keep? Oh my god. What was that thing? What thing? It's not here. What? Oh my god, what? What did he- what did he, I heard something, but I didn't see anything. Turn the- are the lights already on? I don't know, let's leave. Oh no. Okay. I need to find- Oh! Oh my god, hello! That actually made me jump. Oh crap, we're dead. We're dead! I can't move! Oh my god, I can't move! I can't- 
It got me. Oh. I think it just possessed me? Is she not going to scream or react to that at all? I guess not. This is a new room. Okay. Window. One more window down. That's it for windows. Okay, windows are... Dude, how... Is she not... She didn't react to that at all. Oh, wait. It was the last one. I think that's it. Now the house is impenetrable to demons. I think... I should go and see Seth. Lady, you just had a demon walk through you. Like, inside of you. How are you... I, 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 she doesn't even say a thing about that. Alright, fine. Into where Seth is. Alright, Kermit, I'm back. Hello, I sir. See you have completed your mission. Yes. And most importantly, you are still alive. Yeah, I just got stomped on by a demon. It's fine, though. I was attacked. How can you be so insensitive? I am not insensitive. Oh, my gosh. I'm just doing my job. Mrs., you should not anger the one who gives you salvation. Okay. You look tired. You should go to sleep. But I don't want to sleep. I need to understand. Go to sleep. Oh, my. Yeah, okay. This thing is evil. This thing is evil. Imagine you're her son. You walk in to see her talking to Kermit the Frog. Oh, no. Hey there, missus. Oh, no. I see you're back again for the daily wisdom. Oh, no. You are under attack. Your life is under attack. Your soul is under attack. We have to go for the nuclear option. You have to call for help. Luckily, our manager knows the correct ritual to summon a guardian angel for your home. Oh, great. Do it now. Do it now. Okay, I'll do it, Kermit. I'll do it. What do you want me to do? I don't I don't think this is going to be a good idea. I'm going to be honest. I don't think what's going to happen right now is going to be good. Oh, look at the house. Look at the house. It's red. Okay. Focus now. Get the chalk and candles from storage. Lighter from the kitchen and don't forget the lighter. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chalk and candles. The storage room is right across the corridor. I know where this is going. Then, and only then, get back to me. And we'll begin the ritual. It's a, it's a, ritual. It's a ritual, dude. It's a, oh, dude. it's a circle. No, see, I know. I knew this was going to happen. He's evil. I knew it. He trapped me in here with him. And, and well, I mean, the front door should still be open, right? I can still leave. Lady, just go out. Is it boarded up? Is that why it looks like that? Or is that... I don't... All right, fine. Oh, come on, lady. Like, this is so obvious what's happening right now. All right, turn on the light. The lights are not coming on. I need to do what Seth says quickly. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. That, that doesn't make any sense, though. The lights are the only thing that keep them away. Oh, boy. All right, candles and chalk. Got it. Anything else in here that I need? This lady has been... She's been mind-controlled, dude. She's done for. Which means I'm done for because I'm her. What the? Oh, my. Oh, the last picture for our family. What do I do with that, though? I, I think that's got to be the last piece. Oh, great. I think we're going to throw that into the ritual if I had to take a guess. All right, here we go. I need to find all materials in the in the storage. Wait, what? Was that not all of them? What else? Did he said chalk candles and there must have been something else I missed. Oh, no, wait, we have paint. Oh, what the heck? Rat poison? Oh my goodness. Dude, she's got boxes and boxes of it. Hey, man, you really got a rat problem. You're stacking up for years in here. All right, there's nothing here. Maybe in that box. No, not. Oh, planks? No. I could have just came in here for the planks the whole time. I mean, it was locked, but if I could have. All right, there's nothing else in here. And I'm not sure what else it wants me to grab. I don't remember. I don't see anything in here. All right, wait. Um, it'll tell me if I go back to the front door. Let's try that. Or maybe I just have to talk to Seth, actually, but... If we go to the front door, let me just see what it says. Just to be on the safe side, make sure we have everything. I need to find the candles and chalk in the storage. Yeah, okay, I got it. All right, yeah, we got to go talk to Seth, Seth, I guess. I can't speak sometimes. All right, Seth, I have the chalk, the candles. I'm ready for the ritual. Let's do this. Seth, here, take it. Seth, take it. What do you... Why do you have that face, bro? Just take it. What do you want from me? Okay, let me just try it again. I need to find all the materials in a storage. What? In a storage? What does that mean? I need to do what Seth says quickly. Okay, let's just take a look around here, I guess. That's... Oh, the lighter! That's right, to light it. Okay. Got it. I need to talk to Seth first. Okay. That's it! Now draw the sacred pentagram. No, no, what, what? place the candles on the edges of the forsaken star. Oh, whoa. Lady. The Lord demands it! The Lord is coming! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Come on, lady. Come on. No. Yes! Yes! Now the time has come! Your soul will be ours! I knew it. The Salvation Project 
It is finally completed! Oh my star has awakened, and you were its originator! Perish, you naive witch! And succumb to the will of our dark lord! Oh my gosh! It's over for us! What the? Dude, look at that thing! And there it goes. Oh! I'm alive! Where's that phone at? Is that- oh, that's a- oh, that's a phone. I thought that was a mouse in a trap. Okay. What are these wailings? What is happening? What am I- I think I know what happened to me. Oh my gosh! And that's it. That's it, dude. That's- that's the game. Man, that was cool, though. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun, for sure. It, it, you kind of knew where it was going, but it was still a lot of fun. That was cool, man. That was so random, though, but at the same time, just so much fun. And the game just closes after that. All right, well, guys, that was the Salvation Project. Overall, that was a fun horror game. If you guys want to see some more of these, you know what to do. Leave a like on the video down below. If you made all you did in the video, drop a comment down below, okay, of a pig emoji. All right, let's see how many guys actually made it here. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel because you don't want to miss the upcoming horror games. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.